Hi, this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials designed to help beginners get started with Audio Mulch. If you're completely new to Audio Mulch, you may want to refer to the previous tutorials in this series. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to use Audio Mulch to host VST instrument plugins. So the first thing to do is to make sure you have a VST instrument plugin installed on your computer. If you're not sure where to go to find one, you could go to kvraudio.com and browse the instruments in their plugin database. If you're running Audio Mulch on Mac OS X, make sure that the plugin you get is of type Universal Binary or Intel. PowerPC plugins won't work. I have a VST instrument installed, and if I look at the bottom of the contraptions list, I can see it listed under VST Plugins. If you have some instruments installed and you can't see them listed here, check that Audio Mulch is looking for them in the right place. Go Edit, Settings, VST Plugins. My VST Plugins folder is in the root level of my C drive. In the previous tutorial, I talked about using MIDI for parameter control by mapping MIDI message types to individual contraption parameters. But this time, I'm going to need to use MIDI in a very different way. I'll be bringing a complete raw MIDI signal into the patcher, and I'll be routing it directly into a VST instrument. Now I'm going to select my VST instrument plugin and drag it onto the patcher pane. I'll also connect the left and right audio outputs of the instrument to my sound out contraption. You can see that there's an input here on the top right of the plugin contraption. The MIDI input for a VST plugin is always on the top right. So now I'm going to set up my MIDI input. Before I began my audio mulch session, I connected a MIDI keyboard to my computer via a MIDI interface and switched it on. When Audio Mulch started up, it automatically detected my MIDI device. I'm going to click on the Enable MIDI button to enable MIDI input. Now I'm going to bring the MIDI signal coming out of my MIDI keyboard into Audio Mulch's patcher. To do this, I need a MIDI input contraption. I'm grabbing one from the contraptions list and dragging it onto the patcher. Now all I need to do is connect my MIDI input contraption to the MIDI input of my VST instrument. So I'll do that now. You'll notice that this patch cord connecting the MIDI contraption to the instrument contraption looks like a dotted line. When we patch contraptions together in Audio Mult, we're usually sending audio signals through the patch cords. But in this case, my signal is a MIDI signal, not an audio signal, so the patch cord is a dotted line to indicate that. So now when I play my MIDI keyboard, we can hear it playing the instrument. Bear in mind that we can also use MIDI to control the parameters of a VST instrument plugin through the parameter control interface. For example, I can map this instrument's room size parameter to a knob or slider on my keyboard. For some guidance on how to do that, have a look at the help file or take a look at a previous tutorial in this series called Parameter Control with MIDI. And don't forget that you can process the output of your instrument by adding effects to your patch, like this. So that was a basic introduction to using a VST instrument in Audio Mulch. Be sure to check the Audio Mulch website for other video tutorials.